Good morning, I'm Howard Monroe with your morning digital news brief for this Wednesday, March 6th. Two people were shot overnight in North Philadelphia and police believe it all started at a party. It happened on North Broad Street near Gerard Avenue. The Met, which is near the scene, was also hit by gunfire. So far, no arrests have been made. Police are also looking for a gunman who killed a man on board a SUPTA bus on in South Philadelphia. It happened last night on the Route 79 bus on Snyder Avenue near Broad Street. Police say the shooter fled the scene by getting away on the subway at the Snyder station. And do you recognize this man? Police in Glassboro, they say he took video of himself dunking his head in a large bin of pickles at Heritage's Dairy Stores. This was on North Main Street. Because of the stunt, the store had to get rid of the pickles. If you know who this person is, give Glassboro Police a phone call. Now let's get a check of your next weather forecast. Meteorologist Kate Bilo. Hey, Kate. Hey there, Howard. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We are talking about another round of rain to impact really the second half of our day now, kind of the opposite of yesterday. Yesterday's morning commute was messy. It dried out in the evening. We've had fog, but a dry morning commute today. And now here comes the rain again. You can see some showers creeping into South Jersey and Southern Delaware and a lot more to come. Look at all of that green and it's all going to be lifting into our area through this afternoon and into tonight. But there is some good news, which is that it doesn't look like the rain will linger into tomorrow. It looked at one point that tomorrow would be again marked by bands of rain just lingering on the back edge of the storm. It does now look like a better chance will dry out. So today morning fog and then afternoon rain. You can see temperatures will get to the low, maybe mid 50s. But by one o'clock, rain really overspreads the area and will be with us through this evening and into tonight, gradually tapering through the overnight hours. So the first band of rain is heaviest down the shore and in southern Delaware. That's going to lift along the coast. That steady band starts to move north and east by seven or eight o'clock. But still widespread rain through eight or nine. And then finally, this starts to move on out and kind of push out of even New England by tomorrow morning. We'll see some wraparound clouds, maybe a shower tomorrow, but generally speaking, not as wet as it once looked. And Friday is a bonus day, a beautiful day, kind of wedged in between a bunch of not quite so beautiful days. We'll get to near 60 on Friday. Our next system arrives by Saturday afternoon. It will linger into Sunday morning, but then we'll clear it out. It'll turn windy late Sunday, cooler Monday, but then a nice warm up into Tuesday of next week. Howard, I'll send it back to you. All right, Kate, thank you very much. Remember, you can always get Kate's most up to date forecast and also the latest stories at CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's it for the latest for this morning digital brief. I'm Howard Monroe. Have a great day.